Hi, welcome back to the vlog. Having camera issues, okay. <clears throat> this is now take three. <laughs> mm. So anyway, basically, um, as you can see, my face is really broke out and I feel like these are stress breakouts. I really look very unattractive and I'm very sad because I don't like the way my face looks. So. Beyond that, I am not having a very good school year so far, and I'm trying to figure out some things to do. Disclaimer, caution. I don't have time for anybody on this page who views me right now to post, get another job. Leave me alone. Like, just shut it down now and get off the page. Like, I don't know. Kiss it. I don't care. Like get another job is what you say to somebody tell me the job that's out there that respects women black women so i could get another job i could rack up more school debt get new skills you know and go out and get another job and still be on here saying that i'm being disrespected so while everyone wants to say go get another profession go do something different you should go do something else because you are just so miserable and you don't seem happy. Um, is education designed for people to be happy? If you're happy in this job, God bless you. You are blessed. If you're happy all the time in this job, God bless you. You are blessed. So you are my friends. I love you. I care about you. You are amazing. Keep your commentary if your answer to me is get another job. What else am I going to do while I'm getting another job? I mean, think about it. I would have to retrain for new skills, right? So I'd have to still work this job while getting another job. So trust me. I've been out there in these streets for a minute. I understand there's other jobs out there. But guess what? <laughs> this is what I have two degrees in. Two. 21 years of training. Two degrees. So you tell me. What else can I really do? Okay. Thank you. <laughs> so again, keep it. Well, go to another school. Mm, all my friends are teachers, and everywhere they work, there are problems. So these problems don't go away just because you change locations. So whether I need to make more money or not, whether I need to go get another job or not, you know, if I say that I'm truly struggling with something, to blow me off and say, go get another job. Why are you playing? Or just don't do this job no more. You'll be better if you just don't do this job no more. Keep it. Shut up talking to me. And I mean that. Shut up talking to me. <laughs> Somebody did that to me the other night on CJ's um, real live talk, and I just had to tell him to stop addressing me, and I got off the line because the same guy was on there asking for classroom management advice and had the nerve to tell me to quit the job. Like, yeah. Like, you suck at your job. <laughs> I don't suck at it. I See, here's the thing. I'm not complaining because I can't do my job. I'm complaining because miserable children are literally making me not want to be in that room. <laughs> it's like, I am fantastic in my job. Please believe this is what I do. I am being stressed out by anger and violent people who are yay big and this old <laughs> driving me out of my mind. Literally fighting each other in other rooms and coming up to me screaming and hollering in my face telling me to fix it. Like, how can I fix it? You know, we discuss bullying. We discuss touching, putting your hands on each other. We discuss a whole lot of things. We have rules. We go over it. We know the positive consequences and the negative consequences. You know what's going to happen if you do this. But you go and do it when I'm not watching and then come and scream at me to fix it. Really? If I could fix it, you wouldn't do this in the first place. Fix what? So, if you hear me talking, I'm not sitting here talking because, oh, I can't teach. Oh, I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to do my fucking job. I'm great. I'm fantastic at it. Believe it. What I'm sick of is being in an emotionally violent setting and being told to just take it. Don't take it so seriously. Oh, go get another job if you can't handle it. If you can't handle a kid talking down to you and throwing things in the class, oh, go get another job. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, you, 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 okay, post in the comments a job that a woman can have, a black woman can have, that she's respected on. <laughs> yeah, so, no matter the job I go get, even if it's I quit teaching, guess what? Somebody on that job is going to disrespect me. And I have tried other things and other avenues and other ways, and this is all I could get. Seriously, this is, I end up having to come back to this because at the end of the day, this was it. This is what I'm trained to do. Well, and again, I have parents on here who were for my students from last year. Love you so much. Thank you for hanging in there. I promise your kids were the reasons I showed up. And that's the thing. The positive children are the reason that you keep going back to the job. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. There are kids. <laughs> sorry about the fall. My hand. I hope my phone slipped. I'm just tired and no, I don't want to put it on the phone stand and I don't want a better camera and leave me alone. I just, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> it's like, I just, I don't, I, I haven't the time anymore for everybody's, you know, you should go do this and you should be like this and you should and you should. Are you doing it? You know, I, I don't give advice that I don't take. So, for example, I don't work out a lot. I don't tell people to go work out. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> I don't like doing my dishes. I don't tell people to do their dishes. Like, like I keep my mouth shut on things I know I don't do. So I'm just over it. I mean, look at my face. I look bad and I just don't. And it's been that stressful and that hard. Like, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm convinced that these are stress breakouts. They are. Like, what else could it be? Like, I'm just tired. You know, and don't get it. And you ain't got no man. You ain't got no life. You ain't got whatever. You know, people have a whole lot of comments for me that you can just fucking keep. <laughs> it's like, this shit is madness. If you don't like my cussing, get off my page. Like, just, just, just go away. Like, I'm making this to make it and either listen, you know, with an open heart and mind because I'm just saying this is hard. And it's getting harder because the kids are getting worse. And there is literally no way to stop the hemorrhaging. The bleeding is real. It's like, <laughs> I've had two fights, two other boys bullying each other. Other kids, they just argue and scream at each other all the time. I got one that just screams and runs out of the room all the time. Like, like you know, I'm scared to even talk to him because you think what's going to trigger an episode and he's going to run out screaming and hollering. Like, what? I don't know what to do. You know, and then, believe me, nobody does more research than me, you know, trauma-informed, and they're going through this, and talk to them, and hug them, and make them do that. It works that day. Like, okay, they have a bad Monday. I do everything I can to make them feel better. They come back Tuesday, start all over again. Like, it's like they come back to school to start all over again. So what am I supposed to do? You know, and everybody with the, you need to quit, and you need to go do this, and you so miserable, and why are you talking like this, and it's just the way that it is, and, you know, okay, all right, all right, I don't, mm. you know, I mean, I had my friend the other day, she gave me some really good advice, she was like, you know, you just got to try hard to remember that you didn't have them, and they're not your, and they're maybe your students, but they aren't your kids, and at the end of the day, you're not responsible for their lives outside of school. And, you know, it, that, that did make me feel better. And I try to understand that and believe that. But it's just like, look at my face. <laughs> like, this is, this is affecting me negatively. You know, and I just, I want some, I, I need some help with some solutions that actually work. Like, how can you get them to, not even put their trauma aside, but it's like, I tell them all the time, I'm like, Miss Charlton has issues. Trust me, Miss Charlton has problems. Do you know about any of them? No. Does it even look like I have them? No. Because guess what? This is school. We have things to do here. I would deal with my problems at a later date, but right now I have to teach you, right? Yes. <laughs> so it's like, I'm going to need you all to try that. I really am. I talk to them like, I need you all to try that. You know, you're constantly yelling at me or taking it out on me or you need to do something about it. Did I create the problem? How can I fix? I can't fix nothing I didn't create, baby. You know, so, you know, I know they're really reaching out for someone to make the bleeding stop. And I can't. 
Because one, they won't allow me to. And I told them that, like, you all don't really allow me to help. You know, I can give you a thousand and one pieces of advice and you go right back to what you know how to do and then come over to me and say, fix it. Like, okay, here's an example. Young lady was arguing with the fourth grader. I made it very clear. If you come stand next to me, she's not going to start an argument with you in front of me. Well, the other kids will come stand next to you. But if she comes to me, I'm going to hit her. Like, now I said to you. If you stand next to any adult out here, that kid is not going to come up to you and try to start anything with you because she's not going to start in front of a teacher, right? Yeah, and you still going to tell me how you're going to hit her anyway? And that's what I'm talking about. You, you're not trying to solve your problem. <laughs> like, I just solved it. All you got to do is stand near me. I put my arm around you and everything. She's not going to start any types of fights with you if I'm talking to you and have my arm around you. And her, and her answer was to snap back at me and like, well, I'm going to hit her anyway. Okay, so... So you just want to fight. Then that's what I mean. Like, they just want to fight. You just want to fight. <laughs> so I know my, my camera's bouncing around and I dropped it on. I'm really tired of talking, but I really haven't been making videos because there's not a lot of positive going on. I mean, there are some things. I have 10 kids who are really good kids and they're trying, but I have 27 students. And only about 10 of them really are giving me their best. And the rest are either sleeping, arguing, or causing problems. So just tuned out. And just the apathy alone, like you're eight. You're eight and you're tuned out. So my face looks terrible. I don't like the way I look. And that's why I'm not making videos. Like until my face clears up. I don't even know. I don't even know why I did this. I just did this to come on and say hi, but I okay, let me backtrack a little bit. I am not a fan of censorship. I believe we can all say what we want. Suffer the consequence if you do. <laughs> so I'm not going to tell anybody what exactly to say or comment on this because it's up to you. But for anybody who dares to comment, you need another job. Shut up talking to me. I don't want to hear it. Because even if I get another job, you name the job that respects a woman. Nam. You don't know Nam. <laughs> More than that, I have tried to have my own business. I have tried to have a lot of other things outside of this that didn't work out for me. So I have tried, and maybe I do need to try again. But until then, children need some real answers. Children need real support and problem-solving skills. Parents need real support to be better parents. It's a crazy, cruel world out there, and a lot of us ain't making it out. We ain't making it out. It's terrible. And so me walking away from it mm -hmm, solves my problem, doesn't teach the kids how to read. And next year when that reading law goes into effect, oh, ho, 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 ho. you think it's going to be bad now. <laughs> you think it's bad now. Wait till half the third grade in the United States gets held back <laughs> for not knowing how to read. Oh, they're coming for us, baby. So it's like... Go get another job. It's too hard. If you can't suck it up and handle it, go, mm -mm 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 -mm. your commentary is not welcome. You go ahead and put it there, but unwelcome. You don't like my tone? Okay, I'm negative. You're right. You know, you, you think I should do something different? Okay, you're right. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're right. You win. I'm wrong. But guess what? That's not going to stop the law that comes into effect. It's going to fail half the United States third graders. That's not going to stop the law that's probably going to get a lot of third grade teachers fired. You know, so... And that doesn't, that's doing nothing for the teacher shortage that we have right now. But okay, let's go get another job. And yet, none of it's getting better. So, you know, yeah, I could save myself the stress and all that. And I don't have to work there no more. And I can make another decision. And I, I could find a better school. And I could be more positive. Or I could find another way to do. You know, I mean, you know, I've heard it all. 21 years. You know, after about five years of teaching, there's really not anything you haven't heard. But 21 years, nothing anybody can say really is brand new. And that's really what I need. Something that's different. Something that doesn't dismiss my feelings and dismiss how I feel that will actually genuinely help kids and not, girl, just get another job. What's wrong? Or them kids, psh, they ain't yours. Don't worry. I mean, that's who they are. So what? Like, okay. See, what we're, what we're really not saying is that we don't expect anything from black kids. We don't. We don't expect a lot from them. Ergo, we don't make them live up to anything. We don't expect a lot from black people. So a lot of times, 
We are not made to live up to anything. And if you dare tell somebody to actually live up to their potential, something's wrong with you. So, mm -mm. God bless you all. And I love you very much. And I appreciate your support. But I, some days I'm just not here for it. You know, <laughs> I need real solutions to real problems and not go get another job. Because, again, I'll be on that job and somebody would disrespect me and call me out my name. And then what? <laughs> so, thank you for listening. Have a great day. I won't be back on again until my face clears up because I can't stand this. I can't believe I made this one. So, take care. I appreciate you. If you're offended or insulted, be insulted. Be offended. I'm offensive. God bless me. <laughs> you know, but, you know, go get another job? Yeah, leave me alone. Why are you talking to me? Like, that's just how I feel right now. <laughs> so, have a great one. Bye.